Mark Tuart and welcome to this video series, Why Automotive Dealerships Struggle. In video number 25, we're talking about ineffective email templates. If you have an internet lead, if you have a phone lead, you have somebody that has contacted you, even if they've been into the dealership and now you're following up with them, what are your email templates? Here's what I'm here to tell you. Most dealerships do not have any. And even the dealerships that have a CRM, what they have is robotic, generic email templates that will not work. If you're sending very generic information via email, first of all, you have to realize that a lot of this stuff is going into junk mail today. It's getting caught in filters. It's not even being delivered. Email is least effective than it's or less effective than it's been, in, you know, since we started using email because more is getting caught up in spam. So you got to have something that if they do get it, first of all, that they're going to be able to read it. What is the subject line? Do you have something sexy that would invite people to want to read it? Do you have your cell phone number in the subject line? Something that another great deal from ABC Motors and then have your from your name and the uh, cell phone number in that subject line. If you were going to sit down and think what would make you want to open an email if you saw a subject, the first important thing is that subject because without that it won't get open. Then what is your first paragraph? What is your opening sentence that would get somebody to read the next thing? Do you bullet point what you want them to know? What's your SDP, your specific defining proposition? Do you always have a call to action? Do you have at least three ways to reach you? Whether it's your email, your personal website, your cell phone direct, texting, etc. Do you have at least three ways to contact you immediately where they don't get hung up with somebody else? I want you to think of also using what I call PS Postscripts. It's a proven fact in, in copywriting technique. People will read the headline, which in this case would be the subject line and then the headline of the email, but they'll also read a postscript. Restate your benefit, restate your offer, make your call to actions bigger and better than they ever had before. Use second and third party sources such as your YouTube channel, your Twitter account, your own website, different things that you could do along with special reports using video email like iJot. There's so many different things that you could do on your templates that will make you stand out. Make sure you're different, unique, and better than anybody else. Take a good hard look at this. Once again, I'm Mark Tuart, and uh, make sure you check out the rest of our video series. As always, you can go to my website at tuart.com to get your free email newsletter. You can call me direct at 888-2-TUART, and here's to you in good selling.